relatively quieter, but yesterday we had a sneaky tornado that touched down in our viewing area. So this twister was just confirmed by the National Weather Service in Wilmington, about four to five miles southwest of Rockford. Now this tornado did not produce any damage and therefore it earns the rating EFU, or it stands for EF unknown. And it was only on the ground for two minutes from 738 to 740. So this tornado occurred just south of 707 east of Burville Road in an open field. So certainly it was quite an unexpected tornado. There wasn't a tornado warning issue given that their radar has a hard time detecting land spout tornadoes, which this was a land spout that occurred. Now, as we look out in Logan County right now, we're definitely not dealing with any sort of thunderstorms or severe weather right now. As we look at current temperatures, a little bit of a difference across the area. Cooler to the north, 65 in Napoleon and Defiance, 70 in Ottawa, 72 in Lima. We are warmer to the south in Bell Fountain at 76 degrees. Looking at dew points, still feeling the mugginess, 60 degree dew point in Lima, 62 in Kenton, dew point of 55 degrees in Ottawa. Now, as we look at today's almanac, definitely another mild day for early May, 76 for the high temperature reported earlier this afternoon. 63 was the low this morning and no rainfall being reported, which thankfully we definitely need dry days given the fact that we're so well above average for the entire year. Looking at satellite radar right now, we're looking really nice other than just a few clouds and not dealing with any issues with no rainfall locally. Now, as we jump out, we're going to see that our jet stream is really beginning to carve out across the western United States with this trough through Nevada. And this will be our next big weather maker, bringing the opportunities for showers and thunderstorms across the area. Now, tomorrow for our Monday, it is expected a tornado outbreak will occur across traditional tornado alley, really a classic tornado set set up there. No severe weather expected locally here, but as we get into Tuesday, that's when our severe weather chances increase. Slight risk of severe weather out for the entire area, and then as we go into Wednesday, another slight risk is out for areas along and south of U.S. Route 33. Still a lot of question marks with this system as we go forward, but the potential is there. So as we track out on SkyCast for the next 48 hours or so, we'll look at for Monday with mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out some stray showers, but nothing of too significant. Going into Tuesday morning, we could have an early round of storms that occur mid morning, late morning to lunchtime, and then additional thunderstorms possible Tuesday afternoon and evening. Those are the ones we're going to have to watch for possible severe weather. Forecast for tonight another mild night, mostly cloudy skies, wind shift late, temperatures generally in the middle 50s across the area. For our Monday, right around 70 for the high in Lima, mostly cloudy skies, stray showers will be possible. Looking at the remainder of the seven day forecast, scattered strong thunderstorms possible both Tuesday and Wednesday with severe weather not out of the question. High temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Storm chances linger in the Thursday, but as we get into Friday and next weekend, we definitely cool down quite a bit, but showers are still lingering in the forecast. Back to you, Casey.